come together. Let's create opportunities to come together and to reflect. Not to forget, but to reflect. But to celebrate our great country together because we do all live in it together now. Um, as Mayor Leon said, Australia is a vibrant, multicultural country and is home to the world's oldest continuous cultures, as well as many Australians uh, who identify with more than 270 ancestries. We have more than 26 Australians born overseas, 49% of people Mom. having at least one Mom. parent born overseas. We have more than 100 religions and 300 ethnic groups in Australia now, so we really are a multicultural country. I know that in Port Piri you have uh, Italians and Greeks and people from the Philippines, from India, Pakistan, and of course Aboriginal Australians and many others from Europe. Um, my, I'm a fourth generation, very proud Australian. So a little bit about my story. I was uh, very privileged to be the South Australian uh, Australian of the Year in 2017 and I was nominated for that for my work in the last 10 years um, that I've been campaigning for uh, improved care and experiences for people with dementia and their families uh, and also people needing community or aged care. Um, the halfway between Cleve and Locke went to school at Cleve um, my first job outside of my training when I moved to the city was in aged and dementia care. I had no idea that young people could be diagnosed with dementia. So for me it was a major bolt, uh, you know, shock of lightning really. It took me a year or so to come to grips with kind of a new world, the, the new me. Um, my university, I was studying a, a double degree at the University of South Australia and luckily for me, they didn't tell me to go home and get my end of life affairs in order via aged care, which is what the healthcare sector told me. They told me that I was a person with acquired disabilities, that with disability support, I could continue to live my life. And so that's what I've done. I've engaged an enormous amount of uh, disability support, rehabilitation strategies, and I really have spent the last uh, almost 10 years campaigning both locally nationally and globally since 2015, improving the post-diagnostic and the diagnostic experience of people with dementia. We have 459,000 people. It's not a normal part of ageing, but you know our population is ageing, and I believe that in Port Piri you have a very high um, uh, uh, rate of ageing, but almost every community that I've talked to in the last five years tells me that their population is ageing too. So. Uh, the global community um, of human beings are ageing and we don't have as many children as people used to have. You know, I had one son, my husband had one son, so we're a small Brady Bunch, whereas I'm one of four children and then I have grandparents who are maybe one of 15 children and, and how many children people have. So there aren't enough people to care for our elders. Uh, but it's really important that we campaign for better care and I really have devoted um, my time, there's been a significant cost to my family and those of you that do volunteer a lot, you'll know that you probably see your fellow volunteers and colleagues sometimes more often than you see your own family. Um, and that is a price that we all pay, it's not just my family, but I really missed my family when I was travelling so much. Um, and so COVID in a way for me has grounded me uh, and it's given me much more time to spend with my family but also to reflect and to celebrate on where I've been as a human being and I was a nurse in my first career. Um, I switched uh, killed in a hit and run accident just over five years ago and so I hadn't been to Port Perry until yesterday since her funeral which was held at the, at the trotting club. Um, and, uh, you know, like hi to the, the majority of people who live in particularly country communities, pretty much everyone volunteers and Arnie oh, Betty volunteered her whole life and I'm sure some of you would have known her. So it's a little bit sad for me to be here as well because I can't visit her. 
um, but uh, you know, Australia Day is significant. I'm often asked, especially since I became the South Australian Australia of the Year, do I agree with the celebrations on Australia Day? I absolutely agree with them, but I also believe that we must reflect. And there was a time once that I felt guilty for some of the things that happened when uh, Europeans first came to Australia, but they're not my fault. I wasn't there then, you weren't there then. You know, it's a very different world, um, and it is one in which we really do need to be kinder to each other, ask each other, are we okay? And to be there for each other, a common experience around the world for people with dementia, um, whether they're younger people like me or older people like um, Pete, when Pete's dad had Lily body dementia, a lot of family and friends find it too hard to face because sometimes, you know, it's difficult seeing someone who may not remember your name. And I've experienced that from people I love who didn't remember who I was. So I understand that pain. But ageing and dementia is actually when we need you the most. We need our family and friends around us. And that, uh, you know, the isolation of dementia is bad enough, but then to lose the support of many family and friends. So in your community, you know, in, in everyone's community, we must work together for a more peaceful and I think a kinder world. One of my musical, um, uh, I really like Tony Bennett uh, as a singer and he's had almost had nearly eight decades of, of uh, providing our world with incredible music. How would you like to be remembered? And you know, he's won many awards, has many accolades, and he's really simple but profound. Uh, but I try for a better world for all of us because we are all going to get old. So whether you're diagnosed with cancer or lupus or 